This is the Orfina Porsche Design Chronograph PD01 with its unique speedo style tacky, red needle and monochromatic dial language. The watch was a design breakthrough. As early as the mid-70s, one of these watches had found its way onto the wrist of Mario Andretti. But now, it's 1978, and although he didn't know it yet, this was to be Mario's Formula One championship year. He had already won the Argentine GP, and now the F1 circus was in Brazil. It's Friday, and Mario had just finished a series of practice runs, when he decided to relax at nearby Ipanema Beach. It was warm and sunny, and before long he fell asleep. And what does a Formula One driver dream of? When he awoke, his watch was gone. At first he thought it was a practical joke, but he soon came to realise his watch had been stolen right off his arm. News of his loss soon reached the Orfina Watch Company, and a new watch was dispatched to Mario post-haste. Interestingly, the owner of the Orfina Watch Company was Umberto Maglioli, a former driver who once competed against Mario in the 1967 24 Hours of Le Mans. Mario didn't have the watch at the next race in South Africa, where he finished seventh, although he recorded the fastest lap. The following race in April is the American GP at Long Beach, California, and Mario takes out second place and is wearing his new watch. For the season, Mario will have five more first place podiums. On May 21, at Zolder in Belgium. On June 4, at Haramar in Spain. On July 2, at Paul Ricard in France. On July 30, at the Hockenheim Ring in Germany. And on August 27, at Zandvoort for the Dutch GP. Each and every time, he will be wearing his Orfina chronograph. Although he doesn't podium, he also wears the watch at the Monaco GP, at Anderstorp in Sweden, the Osterreich Ring in Austria, Brands Hatch in England, and Monza in Italy, where Mario will have enough points to secure the championship. Two races remain for the season. Watson's Glen in New York, where Mario retired, and at Notre Dame in Canada, where he finished 10th. Mario has accomplished a lifelong dream. He recalled that at just 14 years of age, and one year before he immigrated to the US, he and his brother attended their first Grand Prix at Monza. It was 25 years ago, cheering on his hero, Italian Formula One champion Alberto Ascari. 25 years after deciding he wanted to race Formula One just like Alberto, the dream would come true at the same track, at Monza, in Italy. Mario Andretti, world champion. And on his wrist for his championship year, the Orfina Porsche Design Chronograph. 
Lotus Ford would also win the Constructors' Championship in 1978 with the Lotus John Player Special. The Lotus had a distinctive black and gold livery. Almost immediately the Lotus hit the track. It earned the nickname Black Beauty. The car broke new ground because it was the first F1 car developed using the new CAD computer-aided design process. Coincidentally, the Valjoy 7750 movement inside the chronograph was also the first watch movement to be partly designed using the same CAD process. It's fitting that throughout the 78 season, as Mario steered the black beauty around the F1 tracks, on his left hand was another black beauty, marking every second of that championship year.